time for, this is going to be time for questions. So, what is going to happen is you guys, yes, boy, you guys will raise your hand, I'll pick you, and after you raise your hand, and I pick you, everyone else's hands go down. All right, you just listen to the question, listen to the answer. All right, so we got like, whatever, 10 minutes or so to do this. All right, so who's got questions? Favorite color is, what I say? Hands down. Hands down. Red. Red's my favorite color. Good color. <laughs> I'm like 5'11". How old were you when you started wrestling? I started wrestling, so I grew up in Maryland. And uh, I started wrestling when I was five years old. And I had an older brother. I had, here, and everybody sit down too or take a knee or whatever. I had an older brother, I had a younger brother, and I had a younger sister. And uh, my, my, my dad, my parents never wrestled, but uh, my papa, my grandpa, he wrestled. And I was always a real aggressive kid. I always liked wrestling and fighting with people, even though I had no, no idea what I was doing. I just liked fighting with people. So my parent, my dad, he got tired of us beating up all the furniture wrestling on it, you know, and uh, so he put us in a wrestling room, and uh, I started wrestling, and I think uh, one of his good friends also said that I would be good at it, so he put me in there, and I liked it, so I stayed with it. You can get these shoes, they're not available yet, but they, uh, they'll be at therudist.com, you can get them. They're coming out soon, they'll be, they'll be uh, coming out soon, you guys will see details on it soon. Yeah. I wrestled, started wrestling when I was five. Right now I'm 22. So I've been wrestling 17 years. Yep. How was it like winning a gold medal? Man, it was pretty sweet. It was pretty awesome. The first, first, uh, 2015 at the World Championships, that was the first time I won senior level worlds. And it's the uh, first. And only time so far in my life that I've cried uh, tears of happiness. It was crazy. I never felt anything like it. I was on the wrestling mat, and I won the won the match. And I remember running around with the flag, and then I like fell fell down on my knees. For some reason I just started crying. It was crazy. I never felt like that before. And uh, I just got engaged, so I probably shouldn't say that. I should probably say <laughs> cried tears of happiness then too. I was real happy that day, but I guess it was different. <laughs> yeah, right. I wrestled heavyweight in college, and I wrestled 97 kilo, which is 213 in uh, international wrestling. I can't do a backflip. I can do one on the trampoline, but I've never tried one on the. Yeah, I've never tried one on the ground. Uh, same thing that usually goes through my head when I, before I wrestle. So, uh, I mean, I had a little bit of a, I had a game plan against Kuhn. He was so big, so I had to be a little more strategic with the way that I was going to compete against him. But I was excited. It was going to be my last college match ever. Um, the team, team race was really close, but we weren't able to, we weren't in, like, in enough point range to be able to win. So there was like that kind of stunk. I would have been even more excited if the team race was on the line. But yeah, I was just ready to compete, thinking about uh, going out there and choosing my attacks wisely. And then when I get to his leg or any of those positions, uh, finishing quickly. So that's what I was thinking about. What was your um, favorite match? My favorite match that I've ever wrestled is either the 2015 World Finals or uh, the 2017 World Finals. Yeah. Who was your toughest match? My toughest match was, I think, the 2015 World Championships against Kadisa. I think that was the toughest guy that I competed against. How do you yourself after a loss? Yeah, that's a good question. So. Um, for me, it's not really about winning and losing. Uh, 
I think, I think more about becoming the best wrestler I can be. So whether or not I win or lose doesn't have an effect on my emotions. I mean, it does a little bit because I'm a competitor and we all want to win and it always stinks when you lose. But as long as I gave the effort 100% uh, of myself while I was out on the mat, then I get over it real quickly. You know, maybe for like three to five minutes, five, five, ten minutes I'm upset. But if I wrestled hard and gave a good effort and the guy just beat me because he was better than me, better me, better than me that day, or just better than me in general, then, uh, then I just need to come back and improve. And that's something that I should be excited about if I truly am passionate about becoming the best wrestler I can be, like I said I am. So whether or not I win or, win or lose, uh, my emotions are pretty similar. Like after I lost the Coon in the Michigan duel, pretty much took me like 10 minutes. And I like being by myself whether or not I win or lose a wrestling match anyways because I'm tired and my arms are tired and I don't like being touched or talk to people because I'm just tired. So I don't really feel like talking. And then it takes me like 10 minutes. And then after that, it was no problem. Just back to normal deal. <coughs> Try it. Then think about ways that I can become better. I did, yeah. Yep. Um, are you still wrestling? I am. Yeah, so what? I just graduated college, so I won't be wrestling at Ohio State anymore, but I will be wrestling internationally with Team USA. So I just made another world team, so I'll be wrestling this summer at the World Championships, which will be awesome in October, and uh, wrestling a couple other tournaments, but yeah, that's what I'll be doing. What do you think of the world team right now? I think we're great. We got medalist at 57, world champ at 65, 61's tough, Nation's tough, medalist at 70, champ at 74, Burroughs, could be a champ at 79, could be a champ at 86, medalist at 92. I've won it a couple times, uh, and Gwiz is a medalist, so I mean, our team's really good. Russia's got a great team as well, so we know we have to be prepared. And we're going to put in uh, the work that is necessary to be ready to compete in October and uh, hopefully bring back another title for the team. Was it, was final yeah, it was fun. How about the second round? Oh, man. Yeah. I got double leg off the stage. That was crazy. <laughs> Wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I know. That was a good shot. He blasted me right off the stage, man. But it was still good, good match. Felt like I wrestled well after that. So, that was good. Yeah. When I was a kid? I'm not even sure, man. I'm not sure. I want three state titles in high school. Yeah. What makes you want to go to Ohio State? Yeah, I've been, I visited a bunch of different schools, and I, what I liked about Ohio State, uh, I love the coaches. It was easy for me to get along with them, uh, easy to talk to them. I loved who I would have to train with. I had a great relationship with Tavel Delagnev, who's now an assistant coach there, but uh, he's helped me so much in my uh, mentality and physically just training with me. So, and then they also had J.D. Bergman, close friends with. Uh, when I first got there, Mike Vasillo was there. He was an NCAA champion. We had Keith Gavin, who made world teams. Uh, we had Nick Heflin. And then now we have uh, Colin Moore, who's uh, right up with one of the best 97 pounders. Miles Martin, who's one of the best 84 pounders. My little brother trains there. Chase Singletary, who's, I think, is going to do well at heavyweight next year. Uh, Gavin Hoffman who's coming in. So for me, it's always about the training environment. If I can have the best training environment and be able to push myself like that, then uh, each day, then I know that I'll improve. And then also, uh, the coaches told me that they were completely dedicated to me becoming the best wrestler that I could possibly be. And they held up their end of the bargain. They bring in people from overseas. They allow me to compete in international competitions. So. Very thankful that I went to Ohio State. Also, uh, Coach Ch Coach Ryan just challenged me in different ways that uh, most most coaches I don't think would really challenge you. I I didn't have almost any pins in college, 
So I don't even know. Probably like a minute, but nothing that crazy. Yeah. My favorite move is the ankle pick or low single. How old were you when you won your gold? I was uh, 19 when I won. No, that's not the smallest size. This is just my size. Yeah. <coughs> my favorite tournament was the Olympics. It's favorite, my favorite one. <coughs> I practice with uh, all those guys that I listed earlier. Miles, Colin, Kevin, Chase, Travell, those guys. How many high school matches did you win? Uh, 179. My college record, I don't know. I lost four matches my freshman year, and I lost one match my senior year, and then I went undefeated my sophomore and junior year. So, but I didn't wrestle that many matches. I'm, I probably wrestled like I think I wrestled like 30 something freshman year, and then like 11, 18, and like. 14, so I didn't wrestle that many matches. My favorite thing in wrestling? Um, I think there's a lot of things that I like, but I think my favorite thing in wrestling is just the culture and the people and the sport. I've developed like great relationships with so many people in the sport, uh, lifelong friendships, you know. Um, I love the, the way that this sport embodies uh, hard work and uh, being consistent and uh, putting yourself through tough workouts and situations so that you come out stronger on the other side. And I also think, I mean, the people, uh, a lot of the people that have mentored me in my faith have also been wrestlers, so extremely blessed to be uh, in this in this sport that met them and have, for them to have had that massive impact on my life. Yeah. Well, hey guys, that's it. Good job. I think uh, I think the group that didn't get their stuff signed and take photos, we're gonna do that now. And uh, thank you guys for having me out. Appreciate it.